There's a new museum in town with an old familiar feel. It's the new destination at the end of the Staten Island Ferry, and it's the new old home of the National Lighthouse Museum. WNET President Emeritus Dr. Bill Baker takes us on a tour and explores our maritime heritage. This is the heart of the harbor. I mean, we're right in the center of things. You have to imagine a ship coming across the Atlantic and then um, crashing on um, one of the reefs out in the harbor. Lighthouses had to be built to navigate them through this harbor and through all the harbors in the entire country and in the entire world. That's the reason why lighthouses are so important. We have over 600 lighthouses in the country and over 15,000 in the world, and people want that history. We want to save that history. Many of them are being repurposed, and the museum here has is, is been put together to preserve and educate for future generations. This was the home of the U.S. Lighthouse Depot from 1864 to 1939. What the depot was, was anything that a lighthouse keeper in America needed, uh, was essentially made here on site, uh, brought here to be inspected, and then shipped out nationwide. So we're not talking about a regional depot, even though it did function that way, we're talking about a national depot um, that serviced and delivered supplies nationally to all lighthouses in America. Administrators worked here, uh, the keepers were filtered through, and the architects were designing lights here, right in the administration building. The Fresnel lenses came in from France and England, were brought here to the site, assembled and then disassembled and sent throughout the country. So this was a warehouse for all our Fresnel lenses coming into the country also. The one interesting worker here at the depot that we know who sort of lived on Staten Island and worked here was Joseph Funk. Um, and he was important because he patented a lot of the oil lamps uh, that went inside the lenses. So they introduced a new oil and it was his job to make it work. So he was a prolific patenter. <laughs> We created a, a education here that will give you a good understanding of what lighthouses and the history of uh, lighthouses are, but you'll also find a timeline of lighthouses, you'll find history on the purpose, and also history about the site that begins back with the Lenape Indians forward. Uh, you'll also find the history of what happened on the site of the uh, during the U.S. Lighthouse Service General Depot. Stories about the keepers, uh, and some aluminum, some of our smaller Fresnel lenses. Now I'm a lighthouse nut. As a matter of fact, so much of a nut that I maintain and care for this lighthouse, the Henry Island Lighthouse in Nova Scotia. But I'm nothing compared to Wilfried Kalinowski, a man who has traveled the world looking at lighthouses. He's been to 2,500 of them. I wonder why. When I was 14 or 15, I had a little camera, and I was in the youth camp meeting in the Baltic Sea in Germany, and I saw an, I make the first photo of a lightship. Lightship was lightship Kiel. Later was a sail ship, Alexander von Humboldt. And now I have seen more than 2,500 worldwide. In USA, close to 700. In Canada, close to far 450. And the rest in Europe, Australia, South Africa. But I want to go to, to Asia and also go into Scandinavia. And I'm also working on the story about lighthouses in my life, yeah? But it takes years, because I'm often not at home. We are now uh, already bringing in many people coming from all over the world. And we have a wonderful map that's showing uh, where people are coming from. So we kind of ask them to put a pin in, and you'll be amazed at who's coming already. And we're just getting started. We do lighthouse boat tours and we do lectures, and uh, we are now able to bring in children uh, to visit the museum, which we're excited about. And um, we're growing. We're open every day except Monday, 
uh, from 11 to 5 in the summer and, and in the winter 11 to 4. People are coming already and we're very excited that they've found this history and appreciate it. For Metro Focus, I'm Bill Baker.